So when you wake up at a frozen butt hang and the day before was like just normal, this is what it's all about. So today's a little bit different. Today, camping trip. Actually, hammock hang. It's supposed to be a frozen butt hang. It's not too frozen. It's like in the 40s. It'll probably hit like high 40s. I don't know what the night holds, but that's not frozen. But either way, we're gonna have a good time with it. So on the road we begin. I'm at my friend's cabin up here in Benton. We're not gonna stay in the cabin, but the cabin is pretty sweet. We're gonna go up the mountain. They've been here since Thursday. I'm wimpy. I was back at the shop doing stuff, and I'm only getting out here today, which it's Saturday, and everybody's leaving Sunday. Everybody just being these two other guys. Now, I did bring my pressure cooker pot because I could do kettlebell swings with it. And the cool thing with this is that all of the food just fits inside here, plus there's some beers in here, plus my haversack's gonna get some beers. Trail ale, um, that's gonna just go right inside the trail haversack. So is this not like the quintessential hunting camp? Like it's awesome. This cabin, awesome. Fireplace to heat it. There, I, I, they have lights, I think they're gas lights, but upstairs is all the bunks for everybody sleeping. Absolutely awesome, but we're going up the mountain. So today's hammock camping trip is in Benton, Pennsylvania. I'll introduce you to these guys. There. I don't know where the other guy went to. I had intended on doing that. Yesterday. So we have Dave Truskowski here and Josh, where are you at? Josh Ball, they're my campmates tonight. We're gonna see if they can keep up with me. Right? What do you think? Uh, we'll what show you think? them what to do. Absolutely. They're, they're gonna take care of everything at camp. I don't know what we even have to take care of. They got the fire gun, so that's a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like four people here, because fire. if you're by yourself, get a fire gun, that'll keep you company. So Josh, show them your uh, friend, because Josh, so Josh got here before anybody else on Thursday, and he was lonely within the four hour period. Four. Four hour period since he was here. This is Wilson Jr. He kept me pretty much kept me alive for the next six hours until Dave got back from a meeting. But yeah, we're, we're best friends. He doesn't eat very much, so it's scaring me. It's like a stick. <laughs> Excuse when they, they got two bobcats, same night. Some luck. This camping trip is brought to you by, what is this beer? New Trail Brewing Company? They're not, that is not a promotion. They, I don't even know if it's good beer. Trail Ale, the only reason I bought it is because it had an outdoor theme. And these guys drank all the Jim Beam already. Okay, so what I did bring was that Mississippi Roast that we did a video on not too long ago with our time bomb cooker, because I'm really enjoying the time bomb cooker. So, uh, pepperoncini, I'm not gonna go through the whole recipe, okay? But the nice thing with this was, coming out here, everything fits inside, I put the lid on, and then I carry it around like a bucket. So that was great. Let's try the beer, because that's like the most important part of the trip. And this new trail beer is from Pennsylvania. Williamsport, so they should probably sponsor us. I'll be looking for some free beer in the mail. Mm. 
amber ale, delicious. Dave, what did you think about the beer? It's not bad, I'm not a real beer drinker. I like heavy stuff, but that was pretty good. Not bad for local beer. Did you drink all that Jim Beam today? <laughs> no, I had left over at the cabin and I'm, I'm switching over to Crown probably. Look at, oh, so, we just broke your phone. Look at how much he's, you're at a Crown Royal. Now. I did drink, I did drink all of this, except not this year, but probably last year. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Hunting season, second week of deer camp. You reckon your phone's broke now? Thanks, Dan. Watch editing. I literally, <laughs> so they're like, edit, edit. No, we're not gonna edit. And after I put water in from a muddy puddle, they're like, why don't you just add beer for fluid? All right, now there's beer, muddy water, and the juice from the peppers. 47 hours later, the water will be cooked out. All right, guys, hour and a half. We'll be eating. Hour and a half. Probably longer than an hour and a half. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we're going to look at Dave's hammock first. Give you a rundown. So he's a Hennessy hammock. I'll let him explain. He's going to do a way better job than I'd probably be able to do with it. I got this. <laughs> so Hennessy hammocks just one of another brand of hammock that you can get. What's nice about it is it comes as a kit. And with the snake skin, it, once you just you just wrap it up and it fits in this, but it'll just be a long tube and you just cram it in your bag and you're good to go. What's neat about this one is it's a foot entry. So even with the under quilt, the under quilt has bungee so you can just sort of push it back and sit in it. And then it auto closes as you pick your yep. feet up. Yep. Velcro closes. And then you just have birth, you birth out of it, right? It's literally like, people like to watch me get out of this thing because it's like being born again every morning. And what kind of under quilt you got there? <clears throat> it's by UGO, Outdoor LLC. <clears throat> And they do work for Hennessy. You just have to tailor it a little bit to make it work. Now this tarp is attached to the hammock, so when he slides them snake skins down, it just covers everything right over, but he can detach the tarp, right? Yeah, real easy. It's attached with the Prusik. So if I want to take the rain fly off, there it goes, sleep under the stars. There you go, super easy. And then how about your suspension? I use wrap rings, so you, you take the main line from the hammock, go through once, go through one of them once, and then pull it tight. And then you can adjust where you want your hammock real easy, and then I just tie a brake knot there. Dave's also a pilot, so if you want to go check out his YouTube channel, what is it? AV8R Dave. Aviator Dave. We'll put a, we'll put a link in the bio. And keep your eyes open, because uh, I'm hoping to collaborate with this guy some pilot survival stuff. We're gonna crash a plane, right? Yeah. No. Like we're gonna take it, we're, that's <laughs> what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the plane right in the side of a mountain. If we live, mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna we'll live, because go. we gotta teach survival, so. Yeah, that's coming soon. <laughs> Setup number two. And you don't, he's already getting ahead of himself. <laughs> you, you need to slow down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. So here we have a, a Kama Cooley tarp. Uh, it has a lot of awesome features, a lot of grommets, and then these fully adjustable, these gadgets here, I don't know what they're called. Very handy. Like a slide lock almost. Yeah, slide lock is a good way to put it. What's, I, what's the size of this, do you know? Like I do the not, footprint? I don't know. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. It's more than enough for a 10 foot hammock. All right. And this, and then I have a, is a bare butt hammock, 10 foot by six foot. Uh, and then I have a Marmot zero degree datum bag here. Gotta have your booties, it gets cold. Ridge line, structural ridge line to keep my sag perfect. And then I got a UGQ under quilt, zero degree, 850 down. And I'm running uh, beetle buckles by Dutch, fully adjustable, K 
connected to uh, some spider web here. It's a mixture of uh, am steel and nylon, I believe. So tell everybody how awesome under quilts are too. Under quilts are the best. You don't have to worry about anything. You're always, you're instantly warm. As soon as you crawl in, it's over. No arguments. Don't even begin to argue. I feel like I need to whittle or something. <laughs> Dude, it's quarter after five, it's still pretty bright. Yeah. Uh-huh. I see your little screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that was all Josh's idea. Look at him, all out in the wilderness on his phone. I'm working here. So Josh went to an Asian market somewhere, he said, and what did you get? This is our appetizer for our meal. I got, what is it? A jingle bell. Fresh roasted macadamia nuts. And it comes with this gnarly little tool to open it. So, oh wait, show there. them what the nuts look like because I've so, never seen anything like this. So the shell is so hard that it, they cut it and then they give you this knife thing. Does the knife come in the bag? Knife came in the bag in a little Ziploc bag and then there's the nut. Are they dried? They're dried, ready to go. Here, eat it. Dave, did you ever eat these? Uh, yeah, they're not bad. Okay. Not bad. Wow, they're good. Yeah, it was like three bucks for 20 of them, so I don't think that was worth it, but they are good. <laughs> I had to get it along. I thought you said $20 for three of them. That's what my brain hurt. <laughs> That's all right, we all have a touch of dyslexia. Yeah. But I had to get these to go with my cans of roasted eel, so. I'll try to get one more of those as an appetizer. Okay. Sharing is caring, you know. And that tool comes, that's why you're paying so much. Absolutely. Is that stainless, stainless steel? Stainless steel, man. Bobby? Right in my eye. Do you guys ever have uh, dried chestnuts? Oh yeah. Not dried, I had, <clears throat> I, when I, I was in Spain, I had roasted chestnuts and they were literally roasted. <clears throat> they would serve them in a cone of newspaper and I'm, they were roasted so nice you just, go like this in your hand and in Spain they're weird you could litter like that yeah and uh, right in your mouth and they were so good your hands would be black though oh so that's how they do it in Spain and they're everywhere you get slightly crude on your videos right oh yeah I see what I was, gonna, I was thinking something fun. something about nuts because you guys said let me see that nuts. tool Dave has it Dave give me a second hold on I got if it. I sold these nuts online I would give a coal cracker knife with them, and that way you just put the knife in and twist and cut your hand open. Oh, please be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna work, so we're not gonna sell these online. What is happening right now? Never had these before. Got Always. it. I got it with, uh, no. Safety in the woods. I go Here's your tool. <laughs> Nobody trusts me with the knife around here. God, I just cut my finger with the tool. Band-aids. We all know I don't carry band-aids. How does this tool work? No. Now what do you have? Never got to use an MRE before. Just right out of the the bucket. Yeah. Delish. So after dinner, we just hung out a little bit and chatted, and then uh, now we're just hanging out in the hammocks. Get it hanging. <laughs> so uh, that's about it for the night. I'm excited for the morning. A little bit of coffee. I didn't bring any coffee though, so I'm assuming the other guys have some. So. That's about it for this evening. See you in the flip side.
So when you wake up at a frozen butt hang and the day before it was like, just normal, this is what it's all about. And you all know the biggest trick, you stay in your hammock until the other guys can't make the fire. <laughs> Six ounces, one teaspoon. That's the recommended dose. I'll do three teaspoons, a quarter ounce. What do you think, Josh? You think my heart will palpitate? You think it's that strong? Nobody's listening to me. We'll talk later. <laughs> I'm trying to let it cool, but I'll take a sip while it's hot, just because you're over my shoulder. I am over your shoulder. I'm looking right at the cup. Workable? Workable. I wouldn't say the best, it's actually not, for instant coffee, it doesn't have that instant coffee taste. That's a good thing. Yes. It's real dark. As I'm drinking this, it's growing on me. Like, super growing on me. I'm really into it. I think this is going to be my coffee of choice if I can't grind my beans, carry my Chemex, all that kind of stuff. This, this might be it. Supposedly it's good, I don't. Dave, did you stay nice and toasty all night? I did. Josh said you were fighting a coyote down there. I do that on occasion. The coyote fight was from your location though. Did you hear it? No. Three o'clock. South, southeast, or southwest about 300 yards. Right down the Sensels. When I fight coyotes, I do it silently. <laughs> you sneak up on them. Yeah. That's how you catch a unique rabbit. Unique up on it. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Great winter in Pennsylvania. <laughs> that is our trip. Glorious. It was so much fun, we got some snow, got to hammock camp and some snow. Just a great time overall. So now it's back down the mountain and back to civilization. It, another trip in the books, it was awesome. It's so nice to get away, do something different, total change of pace for me um, to be able to do that. So it was a good time, I had fun with those guys and um, just, you know, heading back, heading back home. Good trip, stay in the woods.